fundraising efforts are underway to build an adaptive ball field in the city of Mason. So you may remember us reporting on the stars of the Mason Challenger League. They recently played in an exhibition game at the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Now, Local 12's Genesis Narrow shows us how their efforts continue as they work to raise a huge chunk of change to build the perfect field. It's a game incredibly special to the 100 players of the Mason Challenger League. The league features kids, teens, and even some young adults who have different physical or developmental challenges. And that's why an adaptive baseball field would mean everything. It'll just level the playing field for our kids. They want to be like their typical siblings or their typical friends who get to be on a team and have a uniform and show up every week. And that's what we do. We adapt the game of baseball for them so that they can do that. Fundraising efforts to build the team's field of dreams at McKino Park in Mason are going strong. So the overall project is at 2.1 million and right now we're a little over 1.8 million. And some players are getting real creative to help raise the funds. It's the simple things like a wave for Jason White that brings happiness. Jason has been waving at cars since he was five years old and he's been playing baseball since he was five years old. Jason's dad, Pete, formed the Howdy Neighbors organization with the hope to build community by sharing joy. It's pretty easy to go like this and it makes people smile, so why not keep doing it? And that's how Honks for Jason was born. Jason will sit and wave to cars and people in the community will donate money. Last year, with the help of matching grants, his waves helped raise more than $100,000. The money was donated to St. Joseph Home. This year, he hopes to beat that number and split the money raised and donate to both St. Joseph Home and the Adaptive Ball Fields Project. It's about friendship and it's about just being there and having fun. And sometimes I think we get so caught up in our everyday lives that we forget about those things. And on those fields, you see it all day long. Genesis Neros, Local 12 News. And there are a number of honks for Jason events happening in the community in the coming weeks. For a full schedule list and a link on how to donate, we have all that information posted inside this story on Local12.com.